Hello guys, welcome to learning microcontrollers. In this video, I am going to show you how to interface a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller with a 5 pin relay to control 220 volt AC load. This relay I am going to use is a 5 volt relay, easily available in the market. This is our PIC16 FA77A microcontroller having 40 pin DIP version. This is the relay I am talking about, it's a 5 pin cube type relay. It operates, its coil operation is 5 volt and it can hold up to 220 volt 10 ampere AC load. And it can also use to trigger DC loads like up to 30 volt and 10 ampere. So this is a very good relay and easily available everywhere and very, you can say, a feasible relay. It has very good reliability as well. So let me show you how to connect it with a pick and do programming. So first of all, as if you hold this relay like the way it is hold in front of you in the picture, the pins, three pins are opposite towards your body. Then the left one, you can name it as coil pin A. This is a coil pin. The right one is a coil pin B. The pin next to that is at the bottom of the B pin is NO. And at the left of NO is NC. The NO is normally open and NC is normally closed. And the pin in between A and B is the center pin. It is a COM pin. Now, since we cannot connect it directly with the pick, we will need some, uh, you can say other electronics to connect it with the pick. Let me show you how. So we will need any NPN transistor. I'm using a BC547, very cheap and very easily available everywhere. It can hold up to 100 milliampere of current. For this, you only need 20 milliampere. You can use any available NPN transistor like TIP122, etc. They are great transistors. So to further connect this transistor with a pick, to receive a control command, we will need a resistor. You can use any resistor from uh, 330 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. I'm using a 1 kilo ohm. So first of all, the pin of the BC547, that is the left one, or the pin uh, from where B starts, from where the alphabet start, the model written on the transistor is the co collector pin. You can name it as C, it is collector. The center one is the base and the right one is the E, where 7 is written, at the, the pin at the side of 7 is the emitter pin. So this is the pin configuration of BC547. Now this is a diode. Since a relay can be dangerous, like it can blow your circuit up if you do not attach a free wheel diode. This is a free wheel diode. Whenever you use the relay, then you have to discharge the coil. For that, free wheel diode is used. So this is our free wheel diode. And this is the bulb or any 220 volt AC load I'm going to trigger. I'm going to use this 220 volt AC bulb as a load. So guys, this is our socket on the wall. It is a 220 volt AC socket, 50 hertz frequency. It has a line, neutral and earth as usual. So left one is a line and the, oh sorry, right one is a line and left one is a neutral. So guys, now the bulb also has two connections. Like always, the holder of the bulb is used. One is the line and other is a neutral because it's an AC load. So this is our equipment we are going to use. So first of all, let me show you how to connect this setup. The pin A of the relay will go to the end where cut is marked, the silver cut on the diode. You will connect A pin to that pin of the diode. Then you connect B to the other pin where there is no cut, opposite to the cut. Then you give 5 volt to the A, A side, A pin. That is because we are using a 5 volt relay. If this relay was like 12 volt or 24 volt, then you have to give 5 more than that. Like you have to connect a DC supply which can supply up to 12 volt or 24 volt of voltage. But this triggers with just 5 volt. This is a triggering coil. So it only requires 5 volt. We will connect the load. Let me show you how. Now you connect the P pin, B pin of the relay to the collector pin of the BC547. Then you connect B pin of the BC547 transistor to one end of the resistor. And the other end of the resistor will go to any available digital input output pin of the PIC that you want to program. I am using pin number B5. That is port B, pin number 5. And it is pin number 38 of the PIC16 FA77 microcontroller. Now guys, E pin of the, that is BC of the BC547 will go to the ground. So it will ground the circuit. Now, next thing is the COM pin. Now let me show you how to connect the COM. You connect the COM directly with the line pin of your wall socket. The wall socket line will go directly to this COM pin. This is 220 volt AC load. Previously we were dealing with a triggering coil. Now we will be dealing with the load. And normally open will go to the line of the bulb. 
in this way our line is connected like there is a switch for the line line do not goes directly to the bulb it goes through the relay now the neutral of the bulb will go directly to the neutral of the wall socket in this way guys our connections are complete i will show you how to connect it on the proteus as well so guys this is our proteus let me zoom it in you click on the file new project make a new project first for that click on next oh, sorry click on new project okay it will do okay guys first of all zoom it in go to isis here click on devices and there you have this you select a pic 16fa77a that is the microcontroller we are going to need place it somewhere then go back and bring in a bc547 transistor okay there we go our transistor then you go back and you bring in a resistor 1k resistor as shown in the presentation this is our resistor then you go back you bring your uh, your relay right relay so there are a lot of relays here but we need this one this relay active animated relay model is a 5 pin relay the one we are using in our project so here we go our relay now we need to bring in our bulb just write bulb here you go bulbs let me zoom it in these are our bulbs that we need here so select the animated one place it anywhere you want i place it right next to it okay let's connect these okay now we can zoom it in on the proteus okay first of all we are using pin number b5 here we go b5 goes to the resistor then resistor goes to the base and from there we need a power okay let's zoom it in go here these two terminal mode from there you select a power place it above the circuit and a ground common ground below the circuit so any ground we need we can connect it so now next thing is we need to connect a diode as well so let's bring in our diode we forgot the diode go back to the devices menu here you write diode 1 and 4001 is the model i am using on the hardware you can use any diode because the rating required is not too high just rate it like this place it here okay here you connect it to the first coil like this and you connect the bottom to the other end now the point where the pin is going as told you earlier goes to the power side and the bottom side goes to the transistor collector here like this now this one will go to the common ground of the circuit that is the emitter of the bc547 and now we connect we need an ac socket so to simulate the socket go back again to devices write down ac sorry sign sign this is v sign sign ac voltage source this is the one we need here so this is our voltage source for the simulation double click on it set the amplitude we are using 230 volt ac frequency 50 hertz so here we go now as shown in the presentation your one end that is the pin called line will go here will go to the common sorry this is the common pin here you send your line like this and from the normally open point this is the normally open because it's open and this one is normally closed from normally open you will send it to the bulb and the neutral will go directly to the bulb as shown in the presentation so this is our connection now let's do the programming on micro c4 pic let's turn on our micro c4 pic there is our micro c4 pic close any previous projects click on file file new project click on next write the name of the project relay one learning micro here we go select the microcontroller pic 16 fa77a is the one i am using 20 megahertz crystal next 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 and finish now guys first of all we are using port b pin number 5 declare it as an output pin test b.f5 equal to 0 this is now an output pin and give it an initial state 5 equals to 0 initially it should be 0 give some initializing initialization delay 50 okay give it 100 100 will be enough also give initialization delay to the initial state so relay should not be on when we turn on the circuit 
now we go to the forever loop while one now we simply do the toggling of the bulb that when i will burn this program the bulb will start toggling port b dot f5 equals to one give an initialization delay 500 will be enough like for for a 0 0.5 second it will turn on and then after half second it will turn off so it will be zero so guys let's burn this program first of all we go to proteus then i will show you the hardware so this is our proteus double click on the pic 16 fa double seven a here you have frequency set it to 20 we are using 20 megahertz crystal click on this and go to the folder where you have saved the hex file here we go this is our hex file click on ok click on run simulation starts run learning running so guys as you can see it is working as needed so this is what is happening we had given a five uh, one second uh, sorry 0 0.5 second delay so bulb turns on and off now let me show you the hardware how it works on the hardware so first of all this is our hardware here let me zoom out this is our hardware as you can see this is our pic 16 fa 7 a here and this is our picket 3 and this is the bulb we are gonna use so first of all we go to our pic 16 fa 7 a picket 3 burner program let me zoom it in you click on this device select the version of the pic 16 uh, micro pic microcontroller you are using the newer version of this picket 3 programmer auto detects the microcontroller when you read it but this one do not so depends upon you whichever you are using so first of all go to a file import your hex file we need to burn this code click on write okay the new code is being burned as you can see it is burning the new code so once it's burned then let me show you what happens okay now i click on see i have not powered it up once i power it up then the program starts working see it is doing exactly the same what it is doing in the simulation see in the simulation it is doing exactly the same for 0 0.5 second on then off on off on off see so guys this is just a very easy thing to do and but it has huge application like running motors etc especially if you are making your own washing machine or something like that then this has a huge application this relay is a critical part of nearly every circuit dealing with the control industry so guys thank you very much for your time i hope you learned something from my video have a nice day